Library of Ashurbanipal from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at wikipedia.org. The Royal Library of Ashurbanipal, named after Ashurbanipal, the last great king of the Assyrian Empire, is a collection of thousands of clay tablets and fragments containing texts of all kinds from the 7th century BC. Among its holdings was the famous Epic of Gilgamesh. Ashurbanipal's library gives modern historians information regarding people of the ancient Near East. The materials were found in the archaeological site of Koyunjik, ancient Nineveh, capital of Assyria, in northern Mesopotamia. The site is in modern-day northern Iraq, near the city of Mosul. Discovery The library is an archaeological discovery credited to Austin Henry Layard. Most tablets were taken to England and can now be found in the British Museum. But a first discovery was made in late 1849 in the so-called Southwest Palace, which was the royal palace of King Sennacherib, born 705, died 681 B.C. Three years later, Horomzud Rassam, Layard's assistant, discovered a similar library in the palace of King Ashurbanipal, born 668, died 627 B.C., on the opposite side of the mound. Unfortunately, no record was made of the findings, and soon after reaching Europe, the tablets appeared to have been irreparably mixed with each other and with tablets originating from other sites. Thus, it is almost impossible today to reconstruct the original contents of each of the two main libraries. Contents Ashurbanipal was known as a tenacious martial commander. However, he was also a recognized intellectual who was literate and a passionate collector of texts and tablets. As an apprentice scribe, he mastered both the Akkadian and the Sumerian languages. He sent scribes into every region of the Neo-Assyrian Empire to collect ancient texts. He hired scholars and scribes to copy texts, mainly from Babylonian sources. Ashurbanipal was not above using war loot as a means of stocking his library. Because he was known for being a scholar and being cruel to his enemies, Ashurbanipal was able to use threats to gain materials from Babylonia and surrounding areas. Ashurbanipal's intense interest in collecting divination texts was one of his driving motivations in collecting works for his library. His original motive may have been to gain possession of rituals and incantations that were vital to maintain his royal power. The Royal Library consists of approximately 30,000 tablets and writing boards, with the majority of them being severely fragmented. It can be gleaned from the conservation of the fragments that the number of tablets that existed in the library at the time of destruction was close to 2,000, and the number of writing boards within the library can be placed at a total of 300. The majority of the tablet corpus, about 6,000, included colloquial compositions in the form of legislation, foreign correspondences and engagements, aristocratic declarations, and financial matters. The remaining texts contained divinations, omens, incantations, and hymns to various gods, while others were concerned with medicine, astronomy, and literature. For all these texts in the library, only ten contain expressive rhythmic literary works, such as epics and myths. The Babylonian texts of the Ashurbanipal libraries can be separated into two different groups, the literary compositions, such as divination, religious, lexical, medical, mathematical and historical texts, as well as epics and myths, on the one hand, and the legal documents on the other hand. The group of the legal documents covers letters, contracts, and administrative texts, and consists of 1,128 Babylonian tablets and fragments. Within the group of the literary compositions, of which 1,331 tablets and fragments are classified so far, the divination texts can further be differentiated between 759 so-called library texts, such as tablets of the various omen series and their commentaries, and 636 so-called archival texts, such as omen reports, oracle enquiries, and the like. The Epic of Gilgamesh, a masterpiece of ancient Babylonian poetry, was found in the library, as was the Enuma Elish creation story, the myth of Adapa, the first man, and stories such as the poor man of Nippur. Another group of literary texts is the lexical texts and sign lists. There are 20 fragments of different tablets with archaic cuneiform signs arranged according to the syllabary A, whereas one is arranged according to the syllabary B. The Assyrian scribes of the Ashurbanipal libraries needed sign lists to be able to read the old inscriptions, and most of these lists were written by Babylonian scribes. The other groups of Babylonian written texts in Nineveh are the epics and myths and the historical texts, with 1.4% each. There is only one mathematical text that is said to be excavated at Nineveh.
The texts were principally written in Akkadian in the cuneiform script. However, many of the tablets do not have an exact derivation, and it is often difficult to ascertain their original homeland. Many of the tablets are indeed composed in the Neo-Babylonian script, but many were also known to be written in Assyrian as well. The tablets were often organized according to shape. Four-sided tablets were for financial transactions, while round tablets recorded agricultural information. In this era, some written documents were also on wood, and others on wax tablets. Tablets were separated according to their contents, and placed in different rooms. Government, history, law, astronomy, geography, and so on. The contents were identified by colored marks or brief written descriptions, and sometimes by the incipit, or the first few words that began the text. Nineveh was destroyed in 612 BC by a coalition of Babylonians, Scythians, and Medes, an ancient Iranian people. It is believed that during the burning of the palace, a great fire must have ravaged the library, causing the clay cuneiform tablets to become partially baked. This potentially destructive event helped preserve the tablets. As well as texts on clay tablets, some of the texts may have been inscribed onto wax boards, which, because of their organic nature, have been lost. The British Museum's collections database counts 30,943 tablets in the entire Nineveh Library collection, and the trustees of the museum propose to issue an updated catalog as part of the Ashurbanipal Library project. If all smaller fragments that actually belong to the same text are deducted, it is likely that the library originally included some 10,000 texts in all. The original library documents, however, which would have included leather scrolls, wax boards, and possibly papyri, contained perhaps a much broader spectrum of knowledge than that known from the surviving clay tablet cuneiform texts. Certainly we must expect that a large share of Ashurbanipal's libraries consisted of writing boards and not clay tablets. List of Significant Tablets Azeka Inscription Asarhaddon's Treaty with Baal of Tyre Nimrud Tablet K3751 Sargon II's Prism A, Venus Tablet of Amasaduka, Epic of Gilgamesh, Enuma Elish. See also Great Libraries of the Ancient World. This audio was recorded on June 23, 2019.